Mercer University School of Medicine hopes to make a difference in the lives of rural George Georgians who are affected by autism. Remy Cohen joins us in studio tonight with details about a grant that will help them do just that. Frank and Lori Heaven Smith has two young boys with autism, but in order to get them tested for it, she had to drive all the way to Atlanta. She says she couldn't get resources until they got diagnosed. Mercer hopes their autism toolkit will help Central Georgians avoid that experience. What color? Blue. Blue. Good job. Hold it. Heaven Smith is a single mother. I know so many moms and so many dads. They just break down, cry because it's hard. All right, come here. Whoop. Raising two boys with autism. I'm here for all the resources so I can learn to help them. Autism spectrum disorder affects one in 44 children in the U.S. That's according to Sarah Rochafer. She's an assistant professor of neuroscience at Mercer. She says this new grant will help them develop an autism toolkit for Central Georgians. Really, we want this to be kind of a one-stop shop for a parent who might be concerned about their child. The toolkit is designed to help parents with children on the spectrum, adults with autism spectrum disorder, and healthcare providers learn more about ASD. I would love to be able to learn more about autism so I can be a better parent. The toolkit will include information about child development resources, like how to get a kid tested, as well as a map with resources close to you. Early intervention is very important for a child's long-term outcomes and well-being if they do have autism. Smith says this kind of tool would have helped her last year when she was first getting her children tested. Services make life easier not only for them, but for the parents because there's no, there's no book that tells you how to raise a child with special needs. Frank, Lori, Mercer needs help building this website, the website so it can be the most useful to those who need it. They're looking for community members across central Georgia to give their lived experience, either those who have grown up with autism or parents who have raised a child with it. Thank you, Remy. The Autism Toolkit website should take off near the beginning of 2023. They are hoping to get input from the community before they share it publicly. We'll have information on how you can get involved on 13WMAZ.com.